Hello, my name is Jimmy Vegas and welcome to this, the first in a series of video tutorials on how to make a Minecraft style game in Unity 3D. Now, um, we'll start this episode by um, just quickly going through uh, what Unity is and the version we are using. So, <clears throat> Unity is um, a, an engine which can be used mainly for developing video games. Uh, it can also be used for developing animations and multiple other things. Uh, at the moment we are using Unity version 5 which came out in March 2015. Uh, if you are using an earlier version of Unity, uh, say 4.5 or 4.6, then the, you, this tutorial will still make sense but some of the naming conventions are slightly different and some things are in different places. Um, if you do want Unity 5 but you also want to keep your previous version, um, it is very easy to install two different versions of Unity on your machine. At the moment um, I have Unity 5 and also 4.5.4. Um, I use 4.5.4 on other tutorials that I run, so this one will be Unity 5. If you do want to install two, if you head over to our website, which can be found in the description, um, near the top of the page you'll be able to find instructions on how to install two different versions. Okay, so when you open up Unity 5, you'll be given this, which is uh, a new project window. If not, you'll be given an option to uh, open a project or create new project. Um, all you'll need to do is if you type in your uh, project name here and the location of where you want to save your game here. Now I'm actually I've named this um, already as Unity Craft, just for naming convention's sake. Down here you've also got options for 3D for a 2D game. Make sure you've got 3D highlighted, and here you'll see a button which says Asset Packages. Don't worry about any of them asset packages at all. They can be imported later on. Um, once you've done them, simply click on Create Project. It will take a few minutes just to kind of build itself up. That's why I've already gone ahead and uh, built this. But when it has uh, put itself together, you should be presented with this window here. So this is the basics of Unity. This is what it looks like. <coughs> Excuse me. Over here you have a hierarchy. Now a hierarchy can be used to uh, keep track of all the objects which exist within your game scene, which is this large window here. So every time we create objects, they end up here. They can be renamed, moved, shifted, uh, selected, all from the hierarchy. So yes, this big window here is currently in a scene view. This is where you build everything. This is the this is what we'll be using more than anything within Unity, this particular window. So when you insert a game object and it appears in the hierarchy, the visualization of it appears here in the main window. And over here, where it says game with the little sort of Pac-Man symbol, is what your game will look like when it's rendered. So back to scene. Over here is your inspector uh, window or pane, whatever you want to call it. Currently set on debug, but there are two different ways to view here, either debug or normal, and that can be viewed and changed here. This little icon here. So for now, I'm going to keep it as debug. Down here, you have uh, your assets window. Now, every time you import anything, whether it be a character controller, um, a script, um, an object, texture, material, anything, it'll appear down here. Here is the sort of hierarchy of the asset window. Uh, it's just to keep things tidy, basically, and keep everything in order. And this little one here is the console. If you have any error messages, they will appear here. Hopefully, it should be kept fairly clean. Uh, we shouldn't have too many problems with this one. <coughs> okay, so to begin, what we will do is here, by default, a main camera and a directional light has already been added in. 
what I'm going to do now is just delete the directional light and you'll see a massive change here so Minecraft itself is primarily based around blocks simple blocks so to build a Minecraft game the hierarchy is going to be rather large and full of blocks there isn't a real simpler way around it but you can try and name things as best you can so to begin up here you have game object if you click this you'll be given a menu all the different types of game objects you can create what I'm going to do is create empty for now and you'll notice here it says game object and this has appeared here in our scene window we can zoom in a million million times but nothing will exist this game object is simply just an object within the um, scene window itself it's, it has non-existence but it can be used for different purposes for example if you create a script and you want to teleport yourself to a location this game object would technically be the location so you could set the script to refer to this game object so for now I'm going to right click on here rename and we'll call it blank block zero zero one it won't have too much use at the moment it's merely just to show you different objects you can insert in within this list I mean ideally it can be used to hold children assets so this would be the parent in the hierarchy and then underneath that would be the child so if you go to game object again and let's go to 3d object and you'll notice a few different options here we're going to use the very top one cube and you'll notice a cube appears right in the middle of the screen so over here we have a few numbers which we will play around with just for now just to show, give you an indication of what they look like rotation isn't something we'll deal with too much because a lot of things in Minecraft aren't really rotated so much they are square based but if we go to let's say the Z or Z axis and change it to 60 you will notice that it changes it almost flips vertically so let's change that let's go to the Y axis and let's put this as 25 and you'll notice it will change around and X will just put as 1 and you'll see it does flip upside down Realistically, these rotations are ones and zeros in the same way binary is one and zero. That can be changed if we go up here, go to normal, and we can be more precise with them. So let's say 30. As you can see, it's more of an angular you now, the rotation. So let's set that back to zero. <clears throat> For now, as we've changed to normal, we will keep it in normal so we can use our um, figures here so your first thing to do is if you go to position on the X and type in 0 go to the Y type in 0 and then go to the Z and type in 0 what that does is puts our object in dead center of our scene as you can see right here so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through a few um, options that you can do to move around the scene so with your mouse if you scroll the middle button you can zoom in and out if you right click and hold the right click and move you can pivot the view on the spot you are in at the moment if you go up here click the hand left click hold and move around you can shift the camera around like so 
So what we'll do is we'll right click, pull the mouse down so we can look a bit more down at the cube and go back to this icon just here. The arrow buttons on your keyboard should, with any luck, should move you around like so, up and down, left and right, move around the scene like so. To zoom in on, on an object, click it in the hierarchy. You can either, sorry, you can either double click, or you can click the object on the scene and press F, and it will focus on it. Okay, so what we'll do with this cube here is down here in our asset window, right click on assets, create folder. And we'll call this folder, uh, not textures, we'll call it materials. And you'll see it appear just here. Click on it, and over here in the asset window, right click. Go to create and then material and you'll notice down here you have a blue circle ready for you to name your material. What we will name this is grass 001. You'll notice over here there are a few different sort of um, options you can change and we're still in the inspector window as normal. So if you click this icon up here and go to debug, as I feel it's slightly easier for me to use in uh, the debug section, click this arrow on save properties, you'll notice a few more appear. Here on text envs, which is basically your textures, you'll get all these. All you need to do is click on element zero click on first and then click on second and you'll notice the main texture for it there is none all you would need to do for that is import let's go to colors element so here you can i'm not sure whether this would work no, i'm pretty sure that's not going to work Okay, so if we go back onto here, texture would be where you drop your textures. Now I have actually put these in the wrong folder, so just bear with me one second while I copy these over. So what we'll do is we will take grass solid 001, drag and drop here into Unity. Now, I must uh, be clear here, all the textures we use are not official Minecraft textures. Due to copyright laws, we cannot use them. These textures have been created uh, by other people which are freely available in the public domain or Google. So any texture we use is free. It is not a copyright texture, just to iterate that. So here, Grass Solid is now imported. <coughs> All you need to do is drag and drop over here where it says texture and you'll notice the material now spans the uh, grass texture around it. <coughs> Excuse me. Any textures we use are available on our website for free um, which is in the description as I said earlier. If you want to search for your own textures, that is entirely up to you. There's no um, set textures that you have to use. It's however you want your Minecraft style game to look. So once we've applied the texture, all you need to do then is drag and drop onto our cube. And you'll notice here we have a Minecraft block. Next thing to do is here, cube, right click, go to rename and call this the same as our texture, 
which is just here. Grass, solid, zero, zero, one. Okay, now what we'll do is we will create a clone of it and put it next to our cube. So if you hold control, press D, it will duplicate and it'll also auto name if you have uh, a number convention. So here in this space now you actually have two blocks even though it looks just like one. If you hold control and pull either the red arrow or blue arrow it will pull it outwards. So now we zoom in you have two blocks one next to each other. What we'll do now is we will go to game object light and we will reinsert the direction light which we earlier removed. And you will notice here it's pointing downwards. What we'll do is if you click on the blue arrow and move it upwards, let's say to about there, it is effectively having the light shine down on our cubes. <clears throat> so we'll change a few um, numbers just here. On intensity, it's currently set as 1. I'm going to change that to 0 0.5 range I'm going to reduce to 8 and yes I think that we'll deal with that for now that's fine up here click the button and go to normal you'll notice the rotation figures here aren't zero so let's zoom out slightly let's change the rotation on the x-axis to Let's see, let's put that as 30 for now. And I think we'll keep <coughs> the other textures, uh, sorry, the other uh, rotation numbers as they are. Next thing to do is down here on shadow type, click down, and you can either select hard shadows or soft shadows. There isn't too much difference, and there's no real set one to click. Uh, hard shadows just gives you kind of a hard edge on the shadows. Soft shadows gives you kind of a, a fading shadow at the edge. So for now, we'll click on soft shadows. Nothing will really appear because there's nothing to cast a shadow as such. If we were to insert, say, another cube just here, we would see a shadow. So we will do just that. Cube. And let's pull it upwards, and as you can see, there is a shadow just here. So wherever you move, there will always be shadow casting down. So for now, I'm actually going to click here and delete that cube. Okay, so I think we will leave this tutorial there for now. Uh, for a first tutorial, we've learned quite a bit here. We've learned the main interface of Unity which are all these windows here. We've learned about importing and we've also learned how to create a few objects. So next episode we will be looking at kind of expanding uh, on these blocks. We will be importing some more uh, textures to use for our materials like this. We'll also be putting in a script. Now the purpose of the script is to kind of wrap textures around um, the cubes that we'll be putting in. So if you are a beginner <coughs> um, it may be a, a little difficult for you. I will try and make it as easy as possible because Minecraft is a very easy game to construct once you have all the basics down. It is basically just uh, repeating the same thing over and over and over and over until it looks perfect for you. Uh, but as I say, if um, if you need any help, leave in the comments, head to our site, onto the forums, uh, get in touch, email, if you need help, I can always help in one way or another. So, um, yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next Minecraft style tutorial very, very soon. Thanks again.